why pay to volunteer and where does my money go? The idea of volunteering and travelling has really caught on for the last few years. And while hundreds of thousands of people do travel and volunteer programmes all over the world, a few are held back from the most memorable travel of their lives because they don't know why they should pay to volunteer or how their money gets used. I will tell you exactly what you get for the money that you pay in just a moment, but let us first address these questions. First of all, you need to know that you don't need to pay to volunteer and travel. There are thousands of charities around the world that are doing great work and they would welcome enthusiastic people like you to come and help them. You can find these charities on the internet book flights, get the right visa, find some sort of accommodation and meals, manage your daily transport, and you're all set. But most people want to spend less time making all these arrangements in an unfamiliar country, and make most of their travel by experiencing the best that the country has to offer, and have well-organised programmes with the right kind of volunteering activities. This is when you use a specialist agency like IDEX to organise your volunteer trips. The agency will organise your volunteering at a great project, give you information before you leave home and, after you arrive, arrange comfortable accommodation and hygienic meals, organise cultural activities and interesting excursions during free time. And because these agencies need to operate with staff, offices, websites, telephones, in your home country as well as in the country that you are going to, they need to charge a fee to organise all these for you. Said in another way, you don't pay for the volunteering itself, but all the facilities and services that you need for a comfortable, enjoyable and safe trip with lots of fun. Now, you may ask, why doesn't the project that I'm going to pay for all or some of these facilities? Well because the most needy organisations are usually small organisations and do not have the funds to pay for facilities for a short-term, often inexperienced, non-native language speaking international volunteer. These services are needed to be paid by someone who is getting the volunteering and cultural experience as a result of the whole programme. And that someone is you. If these organisations had the funds to pay for facilities of staff, they would be much more helped by some local staff who stays with them for a long time. And you need to view this as an exchange. You spend your time and energy for the project and your money on the facilities that you use, and in return you get memorable experiences worth a lifetime. A certificate of volunteering that helps you get college admissions, and jobs, and most importantly, the satisfaction of having made a difference in the lives of those that needed support. Let us get a bit more details about what you get from the money you pay. You get 1. A guaranteed pickup at the airport. 2. A good, well-planned project activity plan at a quality project. 3. Lots of information to prepare yourself. 4. Continuous support while you're doing your project work. 5. High quality accommodation, meals, daily transportation. 6. Cultural activities during your free time, like learning local cuisine. 7. Excursions during the weekends. 8. And most important of all, you and your family get the peace of mind that you will be well taken care of while you are contributing to the world in a different country. So, here was the answer to your question about why you pay to be on a volunteer and travel program. To get more information on what exactly happens in a volunteer program or how does the money you pay get used, watch our other videos.